seated with their seatbelts fastened. Please make sure your seat back is upright, your tray table is stowed, and all your carry-on items are put away. Laptops and devices of similar size can be placed underneath the seat in front of you for easy access after takeoff. Also, if you are in the possession of a Samsung Galaxy Note 7, would like to kindly ask that you power it down at this time and refrain from using or charging it on this aircraft. I hear that they've been acting up these days. Appreciate that. Thanks. One nineteen with nonstop service to Orlando. My name is Scott, and it is my pleasure to be flying with Sydney, who's up front, Anna, who's over the wings, and Tracy, who's in the back. Today is Hannah's first official JetBlue flight, so she's going to be under the supervision of Tracy, who's in the back. Thanks for the applause. Your safety is our top priority, so we appreciate a few minutes of your attention while we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. You can follow along with the safety information card in your seat back pocket. Federal aviation regulations require your compliance with all crew member instructions, lighted information signs, and posted placards. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the flat metal end into the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. To release, just lift the top flap of the buckle. Please keep your seatbelts fastened low and tight across your lap, even when the seatbelt sign is off, and have your seatbelt visible to the crew at all times. Your light vest is in a pouch under your seat. If instructed by the crew, tear open the pouch, remove the vest, and pull it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist, secure the buckle, and pull the strap to tighten. As you exit the aircraft, inflate the vest by pulling down firmly on the red tabs or blowing into the tubes on both sides. A locator light on the shoulder will turn on automatically in water. Please never inflate your vest inside the aircraft. This Airbus A320 has eight emergency exits, two doors in the front, four window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back. Each door is equipped with an evacuation slide that can be detached from the aircraft and used as a raft. All exits are clearly marked with the sign overhead. If necessary, floor-level lighting will illuminate the aisle to help you find the exits. Please take a moment now to locate your closest exit and remember it might be behind you. If there is a change in cabin pressure, four oxygen masks will drop from overhead. Firmly pull a mask toward you to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic band around your head and tighten using the straps on both sides. Even though the bag may not inflate, oxygen will be flowing. Be sure to put your mask on first before helping others and we will let you know when it is no longer needed. We'll be passing through the cabin to make sure that we are ready for departure. You can help us by making sure your seatbelt is fastened, seat back and tray table are stowed, and all your carry-on items are put away. If you have any questions about the safety features of this aircraft, please don't hesitate to ask. Smoking, including the use of electronic cigarettes, is never allowed on any JetBlue flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in aircraft restrooms is a federal offense and could result in a fine. For your convenience, this aircraft has three restrooms, one in the front of the cabin and two in the back. Each is equipped with an infant changing table. We'll be adjusting the main cabin lights for departure. If you need it, there's a reading light above your seat. We're here to make sure that you have a safe and comfortable flight. Thank you for your attention. Let's go to Orlando.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for takeoff. Flight 10 is PBC.